By the way, I'm Henry. I'm a, I, I wouldn't call myself a bio, a, a biochemist yet. Oh yeah, but I'm a nutritionist, and I'm I'm still working on becoming a quote unquote biochemist. You know, there are things you, you know, the way the world is programmed. You've got to go to some school, spend a considerable amount of years. And at the end, you come out with a piece of paper that qualifies you or yeah, qualifies people to... No. Okay. Let me put it right. You come out with a piece of paper that allows people to call you a doctor. The despite say you savvy everything where you suppose savvy concerning the human anatomy, how the human body works. But you still need to go to a certain school, to a certain institution for a considerable amount of years spend a ton, spend tons of money to acquire this piece of paper only that way people can then they can legally call you um, a doctor a doctor a doctor let's talk like our Ghanaian friends a doctor <laughs> I'm so sorry I just want you I told my people waiting to happen okay what I get to talk about today, they say, I came across a video online, a famous Nigerian Nollywood actor, where talks say, he get problem, this and that, 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 okay. If you've been following me, if you don't they follow me, you could see some videos where I don't offload. Is it offload or, or upload? <laughs> you could see some videos where I don't already upload in the past. We are don't talk about the food where we they eat before i begin the talk i want to make you know say anything where they do you now any sickness where they do you now now you carry your hand take your hand cause up anything you're going through now anything's going on in your life now health wise now you carry your hand cause up and now only you Take that your same hand, solve them. Now only you fit use that your hand, that same hand where you carry to cause them problems. Now you fit use that same hands, solve those problems. Nothing where they do you, not nothing where you they go through, where come where, where be miraculous, where witches and wizards get involved. No, now the things where you they eat, now in cause them. Hundred years ago, hundred years ago, our parents, our grand, uh, our great grandparents, no, no, been the sober diabetics. If you check in our history, you no go see anywhere where them records say your grandmama, your great grandmama in your village been get the diabetics. Them no been even know what's in diabetics be. Does it mean say our people no been they eat? They've been they eat, but. The difference, we say, they were not eating the same things we are eating now. Okay. They were eating the same things we are eating now, but, but they no been they eat the same things where we they eat now. Get it? <laughs> okay. Our parents been they eat Gary. Our grand, our great grandparents be been they eat Gary. I, I don't know. I wasn't around that time, but I'm sure they been they eat yam. Kukuya, plantain, and all that. But I'm not sure say our parents been they eat rice that much a hundred years ago. I doubt it. Our parents been they eat gari, yam, and all that. But I'm not sure say they been they eat yam, gari, and yam. Where come from farms where them they use for, uh, something where they call fertilizer they put for the ground. I know sure say they've been they eat the gary where come from the cassava where they've been they spray with them pesticide. I know sure. Uh, my our grandparents, our great grandparents been they go their what their farm for backyard, plant them cassava themselves, they been they plant their yams themselves, they've been they use shit, cow shit, goat shit, where they been they feed grass, they been they take those goats, go bush. Those goats, they eat grass, or them been they go do grass, cut grass, come feed those goats, those goats eat. And when those goats eat, them go shit, 
those the same grass where them they eat out so them sheets that them been na nae our great grandparents been they use go put for ground as fertilizer they fertilize so, so that it could help their cassava their yams they grow them no been they spray their plants with pesticides with chemicals now it make a talk say our great grandparents 100 years ago were eating the same things we are eating now but they've no been get diabetics they no been suffer high blood pressure. They no been get all those things. Um, uh, okay, make I not to go into all that. What I get to talk about? Be say food. When you they eat, waiting you they eat, you they eat two things. When you eat, you're either eating sugar, and this sugar you could consume them. Um, in form of waiting them call fructus pay attention waiting them call fructus in glucose fructus you get fructus mainly out of um, fruits now from there the name comes from fructus so, so, so you get the sugar where you get out of fruits like mangoes quavers oranges and apple name them them call them fructus. Now, the sugar where you get from things like yam, gari, and um, 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 uh, gari and fufuna are the same thing. They are not, not the same starch. So the sh the sugar where you get from starch, the carbohydrate where come from vegetable. Those things where they call vegetables, so where be like yam, cassava, be beans, and all those things, rice, those starch, they call them glucose. Now, those ones your body they use as fuel. If you they come out for your house, they waka. If you they run, if you they walk, they scream. If you be wife, you they shout at your husband. Now, that glucose, then your body they convert, used as energy. Look at it like this. You put fuel for your engine. You sit down for your motor, put key here. You start the motor. The energy, the fuel now will be converted into energy. This is now mechanical engineering and uh, uh, what is it called? Yeah, the kinetic uh, uh, energy and all that. So, now in the glucose. Now, it gets. Why I'm telling you guys these things, be say, and I'm speaking pigeon so that make you not know, talk, say you don't understand or you didn't understand what I'm, you know, I want you to pay attention and so you understand what I won't tell you. Because if you go on YouTube, you will see lots of people talk about these things in English and, and, and they use heavy scientific words. And in, in some cases, these words get, get people confused. But me here, I'm here to talk to Nigerians, to Niger people. So I could break these words, these words, I could break them down into little, little, tiny, you know, into molecules so that you could understand what thing that they talk about. Make you know, be like, say, I'm here to confuse you. No. So. Now, when you eat these things. Now my motor don't they freeze up. What in the apple? When you eat these foods, eh? when you eat, the things where you chop, they cannot say eat. If I say chop, you understand. The things where you chop could either cause two things inside your body. It could either determine how the sugar, where they your blood, it gets something where they call blood sugar. And it could either decide the level of that blood of that sugar in your blood. So depending on what thing you chop, your level, your sugar, the sugar level in your blood, if it go high, or if it go very low, or if it just day in the middle, where, where they say your body could fit, you know, manage them so that you know you, you could fit they do your everyday activities, no stress. Now, if you eat some things where go make that your blood sugar level high you could begin get problems you could begin get problems like high blood pressure and, and 
in, in, insomnia, meaning you know, go fit sleep, you could begin their fat, you could get, you know, you could fat up, you could get things like, you know, you could just things, no, could balance again inside your body. Where big, where Western doctors, so you both doctors could label uh, metabolic problems. It means say uh, your metabolism no no their balance. Check them like this. You get petrol engine. You they drive motor where they design the engine to they drive on to they run on petrol. You go carry diesel put inside that engine. In some cases the engine could start, but you know could perform the way where petrol is supposed to perform. Why? Because that engine they know been designed them to run on diesel. They designed the engine to run on petrol. On kerosene so now waiting that metabolic problems where we will call them now now how now so it they take B inside your body when that your blood sugar they high go high past the level where it's supposed to day now you could begin get these problems now when it day low when it day low very low if it still cause problems so you could want try you, you want to like keep it on the level where we say your body could fit manisham the level where your body was designed or is designed to handle and nothing that cause that your sugar in your blood to go high or low or to remain in the middle stay neutral past food the food where you they eat I don't talk this thing tired. I be like say people know to listen. The food where you eat, nothing cause them. No be witch. No, no be wizards. You no need church. You no need pastor. Nobody to go tell you this, that, 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 that to go. In fact, you no need drugs to balance that your blood sugar. You need food, the right food, the right fuel to put inside your body to balance to bring that your blood sugar down the worst part of it is if he day high if he day low mm, but if he day high now nah, i'm bad so what thing you need now food the right food to bring um to the right level now waiting be this metabolic this thing waiting be this metabolic problem before I continue, waiting be <coughs> metabolism. They, they don't talk say na food na food cause how food how metabolism take cause diabetics how metabolism take make you fat. Person don't ever tell you this in a language where you understand. No, doc. See, see, make I tell you now something. Be like say I don't talk this thing before say. Doctors, medical doctors, no disrespect to any doctor, to any medical nurse, to any professional person. Eh? You guys are doing great jobs. Eh? But medical doctors, they not train doctors to heal you. They train doctors to cure you. Healing, healing somebody and curing someone are two are very two different things. If you they go hospital, you don't ever go hospital where a doctor could sit you down and ask you waiting be the root cause of your problems. No. If you go hospital clinics, waiting that doctor, waiting they train that doctor, that nurse to do, that to find a solution, that to find ways to get rid of the symptoms where you carry come in hospital. A lie. Waiting them train, waiting that doctor, that nurse could try to do. Now, to find way to kill that symptoms, if you're getting fever, the people, they mistakenly, they uh, uh, ignorantly go to the emergency when they get a small headache. Then forget, say, the headache where you get, now your body fighting some things where no support. You were sick when you didn't have that headache. If you get fever, you were sick when you did not have that fever. But immediately you begin get fever. It means say you are healing, your body is healing itself. But people, they ignorantly go hospital, go take drugs. They, they are afraid, say them they sick when they begin to get small fever, small headache. So when you get there, wait, wait seeing that doctor they do. That doctor, they always try in best to kill that fever. Abby, 
they will always find a way to get rid of the symptoms. They no go find way to, because they are not, they were not trained to heal you, to deal with your problem. They trained them to solve your problems. I know been one make this video day too long. So, um, I've been one tell on now waiting be that metabolism. Waiting how metabolism could lead to diabetics, to high blood pressure, to insomnia, to obesity, and to heart failure, to arthritis, to everything. Now that metabolism, now that metabolic process where they go inside your body, now it they cause them. <coughs> so I know been one make this video day too long, but um. It be like say it on day too long. So I could I'll come again. I will make a I will continue this video. I'll continue this video I beg. So I'll make we cut and short a little. I will continue this video. In the meantime, subscribe, like and share. And if you want to know why you they get that diabetes, come back for the part two of this episode, this video right here now. Press the subscription button, press the like button, the notification button, so that when the part two drops, you could know what thing that happen, eh? Because the metabolism, when you eat something, your body could convert them into what they call ATP. That, uh, uh, that uh, 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 the ATP thing, now the energy, now the, the energy where your body they use work. That energy where you they take fight your man, your woman. The, your body could use something where they call um, mitochondria. Your inside yourself could convert that one. See. I go, the next video, I, I could still talk about them in pidgin because those words, if I want to use speak English and use those words, you don't go understand anything where they talk about. So, you know, you, you go know how your body they convert, they, they use these mitochondria things to convert your food, your glucose into ATP, and the role, the role where insulin they play because insulin, Naim be the cause of your diabetics insulin i be the cause of your high blood pressure and i cause your heart failure and i cause everything where you get so the role where your pancreas they play your insulin the insulin where the pancreas they release and the cells how these things they connected they from you eating something putting something in your mouth and then it goes through down your esophagus to your stomach then your blah 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 your mitochondria come come and blah, blah. stick around I could bring I could break them down in pigeon English. I'm Henry Crackhouse and I'll see you in the part two next video. Till then stay healthy and always shine your eye. One person no could fit solve the problem of Niger. If you're obedient, they scream obedient. Yes, you have every right to scream obedient. But ask yourself this message I don't come out from food thing. Ask yourself how you yourself could fit. Help Mr. Peter Obi if he becomes the president of Nigeria. How waiting you could fit contribute to cells to solve the problems where Nigeria get. Because if Mr. Peter Obi and Ahmed Babadati them come in with sound mind, them one clean up the nation, but you still they they corrupt, you still they uh, they, they collect fifty naira for road from a bus driver, you still they sit on for office, they, you know, you're, you're still sitting on someone's documents because that person, no one bribe you, you're still doing those, you yourself, how you could fit, waiting you want contribute, make Nigeria move forward, till then, I'm out.